We're here with uh, Assemblyman Jay Weber. Thank you very much for uh, taking some time to meet with me today and get, some, get a message out to the people who read Safe Jersey well, every day. Thanks for having me. So. Uh, I just... <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah. yeah. I really uh, I wanted to get your reaction to the governor's budget address this afternoon. Do you feel that it accurately reflects what the new normal is going to be when it comes to funding state governments? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're heading in the right direction here in New Jersey. Clearly, we have to go in the direction of less spending, less government, and more tax relief uh, to a state that's hurting economically and, and nationally. So uh, I think the governor's recognized that uh, the old ways of more spending and more debt and more taxes is the wrong direction. And now he's given us the second budget in a row that cuts spending and provides tax relief to the people in the state of New Jersey. It's a good budget. Um, last year's budget made a lot of news. The Republicans in the legislature, uh, as I'm sure you're well aware, sponsored most, if not all, of the bills that were required to pass it. Um, the minority really led the budget process in the state last year. Do you expect it to be a similar situation this year, or will it be more bipartisan? And what, were your, what will your role be as a member of the Budget Committee? Well, uh, last year was remarkable in that the minority led the budget process through the, uh, through the budget season. Uh, it remains to be seen. Again, this was the first step in the budget process. The governor plays out what his agenda is, what his ideas for the budget are, and now the legislature responds to that. And so if the Democrats uh, want to sponsor that budget, if they uh, think that they can work with those ideas and work within that framework, then perhaps they'll take up the mantle. If, like last year, they want to abdicate their responsibility and their leadership role and leave it to the minority to do it, we'll be happy to pick up the ball and run with it. Um, it's no secret that, that we have a very large budget, budget deficit that's going to have to be addressed this year. Um, where are, because I'm not sure many people really know, where are the bulk of state funds actually allocated in the budget? The largest portion of the state budget is really kind of grants and aid, we call them the pass-throughs that go to uh, municipalities in the form of uh, aid for our municipal governments, uh, to our school districts in the form of school aid, um, and then Medicaid is also a substantial part of our budget. We spend a lot on uh, state employees, their salaries, but certainly their benefits and uh, health care benefits. So uh, those items make up the, the bulk of the uh, budget, and uh, this year it looks like the state will be holding the line on most of those items, uh, not cutting into them uh, as deeply or as we did last year, and uh, uh, holding the line, in fact, cutting overall spending again by about 2.5%, which I think is great news. Uh, with regard to the, to the deficit, do you feel that New, Gen New Jersey has a spending problem or a revenue problem? <laughs> now we have, uh, look, the governor and the Republicans in the legislature showed last year have enough money to fund our priorities. Um, we, what we don't need is to find new ways to spend the money that comes in. And so even as revenues are going up slightly uh, for uh, next fiscal year, which begins on July 1st, uh, we still are cutting, we're going to cut spending uh, because the government had grown too large for too long. And uh, we're seeing that the, the governor wants to change the direction of the state. And he's done that with his first two budgets, less spending less taxes. I mean, this is clearly all going to involve a lot of reform. If you had to pick one reform as being the most important for the budget, what would you say? That would be? Wow. That's a difficult question to answer because there's several items that we really need to address. The governor, as you heard today, will insist on uh, significant pension and health care reform for our public employees. Uh, that is a, a major, major issue we need to address. Uh, but the uh, the other reform that kind of can't be addressed through the, the budget language uh, and that remains to be done is education spending reform and how uh, we make the funding formulas for our school systems more equitable. That's not something that we can address in this context, uh, but it is something that we will have to address uh, in the near future. Um, I also want to talk a little bit about redistricting. It's on everybody's mind. Uh, the process has been underway for a little while now. Do you expect that the commission will have a map before the deadline, or are we really going to come down to the 11th hour on this? Uh, it's too early to tell. Human nature being what it is, deadlines have a way of focusing people on making decisions. Uh, but uh, look, I think the commission is, is working, is functioning fairly well. Uh, we're making good progress, and uh, I don't see any reason why we won't be able to meet 
the deadline. I don't know if it will be comfortably right. or at an 11th hour, but we'll meet the deadline in New Jersey on the map that I hope is fair and constitutional. Um, I, I realize you can't share too much information about the process right now, but is there is there anything that you could tell Save Jersey readers about about the process, how it's been going, and what the Republican goals are for redistricting in general? Well, the process uh, has uh, start, started really in earnest in late January when the commission first met. We adopted bylaws and had a kind of an organizational meeting, but we've had four public hearings since then, and the hearings have been very informative. Hundreds of people attending, hundreds of people testifying about what they see uh, are the main interests for their communities and uh, how they want the map to look. And I think it's absolutely vital that people take advantage of those opportunities. It's a once in a decade process that uh, the citizens of New Jersey get a chance to, to uh, tell the map makers how they want the map to look and then we have that map for another 10 years provided it's constitutional and abides by uh, federal and state law. So um, the the testimony hearings has been interesting. Um, the, the way in which we deal with the demographic changes in the state, um, the population shift slightly to the south and the west, uh, the rise in the Latino population, which has been dramatic over the last 10 years, uh, and the rise in the Asian population, how we deal with that. Uh, so we've heard all of that during the uh, public portions and public hearings. And uh, the, the Republicans, for our part, from the beginning, have said that we want a, a map that is responsive to the will of voters, uh, that reflects uh, what people say when they go to the ballot box, and this is the direction we want our state to go in. And uh, we want a map that uh, abides by the United States Constitution, the state constitution, and, and federal law. And we think that uh, if we do the former, if we have a map that's responsive and allows the voters to express their preferences and see them, those preferences translated into uh, government here in Trenton, then that's a, that's a fair map. And we want a map that is constitutional and that abides by the law. And we're working on that. And um, we have you know, maybe about 45 days left in the process. And I'm sure that at the end of the process, uh, we'll do, we'll, we will have done everything we can to achieve that goal. Um, from, from what we heard here today with the governor, uh, I. I don't think I'm alone when I say that I think the Republicans can really run with this budget and run on this budget this year. When the Republicans end up taking back the legislature this year, uh, what will be your top legislative priority when you first get in there? Well, that goes back to that reform question you asked, which, <laughs> you know, which is the uh, most important reform? And that's a difficult question to answer. Certainly, I'd like to see uh, the budget continue to shrink, uh, continue to uh, pare down to our essential services, uh, funding our priorities. but but uh, shedding the waste and the things we don't do as well as we should. And uh, as we do that, provide the kind of tax relief that New Jerseyans deserve. Not just uh, direct credits back, uh, things like property tax uh, rebate credits that the governor's instituting, uh, but in substantial tax reform that encourages investment and growth and entrepreneurship uh, that will help revive our economy. So that's a major focus of mine. We can't get away from significant pension and benefit reform. And we have to address uh, school funding uh, at some point very soon. The courts and, uh, and getting the governor's nominees through the Senate is, is a top priority. The Democrats won't do it, maybe the Republican majority will. But um, there will be no shortage of good ideas, I think, uh, once uh, the uh, Republicans uh, take the majority next year, which I hope we do. Do you think there's any chance that President Sweeney will, will put Ann Patterson's hearing through this year? You have to ask uh, the Senate President. <laughs> uh, he's not budged yet, and uh, I think he's really forced a constitutional crisis, and he's abdicated his role uh, and his responsibility as Senate President. Um, it's not reflected well on the, uh, on the state Senate and the, and the state Senate leadership, and uh, hopefully that episode will get resolved in the way it should, which is simply giving the governor's nominee a hearing. Uh, that's all the governor's asking, that's all Ann Patterson would ever ask, is just provide the nominee a hearing and let the process take its course. Uh, Senate President Sweeney won't even give the nominee a hearing, which is, again, I think an abdication of his responsibility under the Constitution, and uh, hopefully he uh, very soon uh, gets on board. Um, just. Just one last thing. Do you have any? Do you have anything that you'd like to say to 
Dr. Save Jersey readers just to close? <laughs> <laughs> any well, any look, words I mean, of wisdom? You know, Brian, you guys do a great job on the site. We, uh, I enjoy reading it, and uh, it's things like this that I think keep people plugged in. Uh, kind of an alternative source of media that uh, is very important in our democracy. And uh, one of the great developments in this past few years is the development of this site and sites like it give people uh, real uh, analysis uh, and, and access to uh, decision makers. And uh, I think you do a good job for the state. We appreciate that. Well, thank you very much for your time. Sure. We really appreciate it. Thank so you. We'll talk to you again soon. Very good. Thanks, Brian.